Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's talk about a pretty funny term I've come across called monkey patching. Now, here's the deal. You know what a patch is, right? If you have a software or a programming language or whatever, a patch is an update. It's basically additional code that goes on top of whatever you already have to make it, well, better. Well, maybe not better, but newer to for it to do more new things. That is patching. But where does the monkey come into the picture? Now, I was reading up about this because I was using a Python package that actually, well, did some things a little bit differently. What it's saying is that if you were to use the default Python functions to do certain things, it wouldn't play very nice with, well, the package itself. They have actually written their own functions for you to call and they say, well, prefer these rather than using the, you know, original Python ones. But if you want to use the Python functions, well, we can sort of fix it for you by doing monkey patching. And as it turns out, a monkey patch is usually a runtime patch. That is a very interesting idea because you're not changing Python itself, at least not beforehand. Only when you run your code, only when you import the library, does it go to Python and replace certain things. Now, the Wikipedia page has a very interesting example for doing this. What it does is it overrides a constant. What this means is you can do this yourself for a language that supports this. You can bring in a library, add in some code that tweaks the library, and then as you continue on, well, you're using that new version. You are using basically an updated function. That's the special thing about monkey patching. It runs before any of your code runs, so it has a chance to replace whatever it needs to replace. And then your code is written as normal. Your code can ignore the fact that a monkey patch exists. It just calls the function, thinking that it's the normal function, but the updated version runs. So I thought that's pretty cool. Of course, there are many shortcomings to that, and of course, you don't really want to use this if you can avoid it. If you try to monkey patch in multiple ways onto the same function, yeah, that's gonna get messy. That's probably not gonna work very well. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a hack. It's a workaround. If versions change, if dependencies change, assumptions made by the monkey patch may be violated, and that creates even more problems. So yeah, don't do it if you can. Um, but it's a funny name, so I thought I would share. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share a funny word with you. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.